Hey everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Daily Schoolboy News. A common antibiotic could be a lifesaver for divers who are affected by decompression illness, according to research by the US Navy Medical Research Center. So at the end of August this year, a scientific team presented their research into the use of doxycycline, yes. yeah. It's a very easy word to say, it just <laughs> looks more complicated. Um, at the Military Health Symposium. Yes. <laughs> Two really funny looking words. words. There. I did it. You nailed My it. My mum would be proud. Uh, so basically they explained that using it as a supplementary treatment compatible with standard recompression therapy could reduce diseases and death associated with decompression illness among Navy divers and some mariners. So doxycycline was found to give divers better and more immediately effective treatment and that the drug actually prevented severe effects from DCI by inhibiting <laughs> this is the reason why I gave you this. Uh, matrix, sorry, I haven't read this before. Uh, metalloproteinases and modifying oh, leukocyte mechanisms uh, that involve a metal and leukocytes uh, form part of the body's immune system. Yeah, that's what you get for going on holiday. I know, you get, you get big words. words. You get big, big words. Yep, totally understood what you just said there, Mark. So basically, <laughs> some chemicals react. And there you go. Yeah, I mean, because it ended in A's, it was some kind of enzyme uh, that uses a metal. It basically, it, it helps. It yeah. makes you better. It makes you better. It's, or stops Drug, making you getting worse. Drugs, good. Take drugs, kids. <laughs> the good oh, kind. Yeah, the good kind. Yeah, LSD, cocaine. <laughs> No, we do not condone drug use here at Simply Scuba. Anyway, the analysis was based on three sets of similar hy uh, hyperbaric data. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm dying there. Uh, evaluating. Let's get you some doxycycline. Yeah, I think I need some doxycycline. Uh, obviously, affecting doxycycline, effect on DCI associated diseases and mortality. Fun times. <laughs> this sounds like a fun, fun, fun thing they were it's researching. It's quite interesting, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, of course, these, you know, really are the only first steps, uh, you know, so into the drug. And now these results have been positive. I'm sure that more money and time will be pumped into this drug to see grander results. Yeah, no, that is quite interesting because decompression theory has really kind of, it's kind of been done and whatnot, and it's kind of, they did it in the 60s and whatnot, and not a great deal has sort of happened since, since then, but now that they're really sort of focusing more on, oh, okay, what, what happens? Um, obviously, it usually starts in the Navy because they're usually under um, these kind of conditions a bit more often than us recreational yeah. divers. But, um, but yeah, no, it is actually quite interesting. So, but what do you guys think about all of this? Will this drug eventually worm its no. way into the recreational diving world? We're gonna start seeing it in uh, sort of recompression Viagra. chambers. That's gonna be, that's gonna cure the bends. Uh, Viagra. You heard it first, guys. Yeah, vasodilation, that, that'll help slow bubbles moving <laughs> around your system. Um, who knows? Uh, will they start offering this to people before? No, I don't think they will. Um, as that, a eventually they might do. It could be a prevention. Don't uh, skip to the end. I can't you're... see it as a prophylactic. Here you go, it can be like, it'd be like a vitamin pill. Before every dive. Yeah, they'll no. give you a little gummy, like a... No, it's not, it doesn't prevent it will. decompression illness. It will. You heard it, it first. It, <laughs> that and Viagra, I take them together, <laughs> boom. You can go down as quickly as you can, come back as quickly as you can, and you're fine. And you develop gills. <coughs> Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> um, anyway. You have to call it the Red Bull pill. Oh. <laughs> Red Bull gives you gills. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> have a chat about sort of taking drugs and then going scuba diving in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's story, why not give it a like, share it with your diving buddies, and of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything scuba diving, smash that little bell icon. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. And then when Mark talks about taking drugs and going scuba diving, it doesn't mean that one time you took some LSD and then went on a dive. No one wants to hear that story. That would make a vivid, vivid night dive. <clears throat> okay, if you have, <laughs> talk about it in the comments. Anonymously. Anonymously. There, there are no names here. We do not condone drugs. Yeah, change your username to Mark. <laughs> Mark Newman. <laughs> or safe diving.
It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.